Oké, okay, ze verpast hij. Omega naught is the square root of k divided by m. Oké, okay, for any single degree of freedom system, yeah, um, with, when it's undamped, oscillates at this frequency. So it's got a natural frequency of root k upon m. So we've got root 72 times 10 to the 3, because it's kilonewtons per meter, divided by, oops, divided by 125. And if you do the sums, that comes out to be 24 radians per second. Part B, what's the frequency in hertz? Okay, well, the relationship between omega, which is in radians per second, and hertz, if you write omega, it's going to be 2 pi times by the frequency in hertz. And so the frequency in hertz is going to be omega naught divided by 2 pi. So 24 divided by 2 pi 3.82 hertz. Okay? Part A and B. Now for part C, it says, hint, what's the equation of motion x of t? Well, it's going to be a sinusoid, because the thing oscillates. Okay, it's undamped, so it's not going to decay. But sinusoids always have an amplitude, okay? Cosine will give me a sinusoid shape. And I've got a frequency times by time plus a phase which will shift it left and right. Any sinusoid that's centered around zero, will, you can be written like this, okay? There's another way you could write it, but that's the way, way I'm going to write it here, okay? Now, what, what we know A, because it says we've, we uh, shift the mass, we extend it to 34 millimeters, which is, happens to be the amplitude. We know the frequency because we calculated it. Now, for this value, okay, let's think about what the shape looks like. X of t, this is time, okay? When t equals zero, okay, this equation reduces to a cosine of phi, okay? Now, a can't be zero, that's the amplitude, okay? This equals, uh, this equals uh, 34 millimeters. So if A is 34 millimetres and the answer is 34 millimetres, what does cosine of phi need to e be equal to? One. One. Where is cosine, where is um, cosine, uh, where is phi when you need cosine of phi to be one? What's the shape of cosine? Where does it start? It starts at one, doesn't it? So phi must therefore be zero. Yeah, because cosine of phi, when phi is zero, equals one, which is what we wanted to be, okay? So that's, what, that's how you work out what the phi is. And you can also just do it by thinking about it, okay? So, so my equation now looks like we've got 34 times 10 to the minus 3 cosine of omega naught, sorry, of 24t. That's my equation for displacement. Obviously, I've been given the displacement of 20 millimetres. There's my equation. What's my unknown? T. t. So we can solve for this for T. T is going to be the inverse cosine of 20, uh, 20 divided by 34, all divided by 24. And if you do that sum... Sorry? 20 divided by 34. Mm -hmm. All. Well, there's a 10 to the minus 3 on top and on oh, the bottom. Sorry. So they disappear. Yeah. Divided by 24, that equals 0 0.0392, I believe. That's, uh, Okay, so then I need to, I've got my time, so I need, now I need to find my velocity, okay? So I have to take the derivative of that equation, okay? My amplitude stays there, cosine turns into minus sine. I've got my omega naught t, 
but I need to apply the chain rule, which is so I need to take the omega naught out as well. Okay, there's one. There's my equation. Velocity, displacement. I'll do it again. So we've got a minus a omega naught. Now I've got cosine of omega naught t, and another omega naught comes out. So I've got a minus a omega naught squared. Now it looks like this is it also equal to omega naught squared x of t. Because x of t is a cosine omega naught t. Yeah? Up here. And so my equation, so here I've got minus 34 times 10 to the minus 3 times by 24 sine of 24, 0.0392. And here I've got minus 24 squared times by 20 millimetres. Okay, this, when you do that sum, oops, minus 0 0.66 metres per second. Minus 11.52 metres per second squared.